Hello. Gotta make sure everything's working real quick, as usual. Okay, good. I just, I get very paranoid about audio things because I've recorded so many videos in the past, like years ago, where audio didn't work at all. So I'm very, very, very paranoid about audio issues. Okay, so... Really? Everyone's gonna be loud when I start recording, when I start streaming? Okay. So, Unforgiven is the next pay-per-view, I've decided. Um, I do want to do a King of the Rings soon. I don't know if it's gonna be June or July, but it'll probably be one of the two. I'm leaning June. I wanna do Judgment Day and Unforgiven soon as well, so... I'm thinking Unforgiven next, and then we'll go from there, maybe switch out Bad Blood and Vengeance. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Because I, I, I want to use all these as well. I want to at least get everything in there. Tamina and the Bow Leavers are preparing to turn face. That'll be interesting to see that unfold. It's time. I don't feel like I did a lot off camera. Like very, very minimal. Maybe like storyline cleanup and that's it. Turning, a little bit of turning. Uh, Tamina, that is. Oh, I remember something else I did. I did, um... I changed the bow levers to the bow levers. And I changed you guys. Uh, where are they? Police Academy. Oh, it's happening, it's happening. I liked, you know, I I thought the idea didn't work for the time. I I think it's working now. Police Academy, Carter Gray's in Wrestler's Court. Steve Kern is passing on psychology to everyone. Teaching Roman Reigns how to sell. Thank you, thank you. Can uh can Roman make some friends with Camacho, maybe? Okay, hey, so, level up. I assume I used everyone at the pay-per-view. Yep. It's good, it's good. I'm happy to be using everyone. Um, ooh, I mean, I feel like it's a no-brainer to... Did I make a tag team for you guys, for Exxon and Brooke? I did. I want to use Exxon and Brooke. Oh, hey. Oh, thank you for telling me. Thank you. Hold on. I will fix that real quick. I will fix that. Oh. Thank you very much for telling me. I changed the title, but not the category. That is my bad. That is my bad. Oops, that's my voice. I don't want to hear that ever. Also, hey, Mike. Good good morning. Good morning for me. I don't know if it's morning for you, but it's morning for me. Um, there it is. Fixed. You need to hire my fave MMA fighter when he debuts. Please tell me. Who 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 made that be? There we go. That's that's better. George St. Pierre, I I got you. I I will do so. Sonna and Brooke and um I want them against Naomi and Jillian. You know, see how see how they do as a team.
and I want Jillian to get the win over Brooke. You know, let's let's show Brooke maybe you shouldn't have turned on us. Maybe we're better than you thought, huh? Come on, just sweet puppy Sanchez, Lou Kruger, and Rachel. Rachel Lynn. I don't know. That can go like eight minutes or so. Maybe less. We'll see. We'll see. And then throw an angle with everyone in it. Um, throw in Brooke and Aksana. And sort of in this angle, they, they confront her for turning on them. And they're like, you know, we're, we're better than you. Because we stick with our friends. So deal with that. Um, I could do, I feel like I gotta do Usos. I have issues booking them sometimes. Hmm. You know what? I forgot. It's, it's a, it's a show where I like to hire jobbers. This is the jobber show. And, um, I, I love to hire Douglas and Stevens as my tag team. And actually, I, I've decided I don't want them against the Usos. I want them against the Believers. Which, um, the deal with them will show up on the next show, on the actual show. Oh, wait, there's they're still the Believers. Come on. I thought I changed them. They're supposed to be the Believers now? And they're going to be against... Oh my god, runtime error! No! <laughs> it's going great. This is why I save at all times. Ah! That stuff didn't save. That's fine. Sana and Brooke versus Naomi and Jillian. Jillian gets the win over Brooke. Luckily, I didn't do much before the crash. <laughs> it happens, I guess. I'll change it here and not make the same mistake. If you save like I do at times, just random letters and numbers. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I <laughs> do. You know, just like copies of saves is just a mess. Uh, I'm okay with that. Oh, I have to rehire Stevens. And uh, first of all, segment: Sweet Poppy Sanchez, Camacho, Leo Kruger, Chilean, Rachel, Naomi, Exana, Brooke. Why'd you betray us? Segment: We're better than you. Blah blah blah. It's long. That's great. Go to local. Change that to... I'll just do either gender, whatever. Andy Douglas. And Chase Stevens. It's long, that's what she said. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. I've been around. Believers. <laughs> Believers against Chase and Andy. And of course, this will get them a win. Uh, it can be however long, I don't care. So always a big fan of Chase Stevens. Yeah, he's great. I, I I I agree. Definitely. I'm gonna hire um I'm gonna hire Jonathan Gresham. You know, my go to jobbers right now, Jonathan Gresham and uh Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas. Actually 
Holy shit, Sage Beckett, come on. Why are you still unimportant? You're champion. Do better. Shane Hollister could be doing better. But I, 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 I've got plans for that, though, so that's fine. Now, Andy Douglas is a chiropractor. Oh! Interesting. I did not know that. I'm going to feed Jonathan Gresham to Brad Attitude. And, like, a five-minute match. Make Brad look good. And um, this will mean this can go there. Perfect. Brad wins. Angle. Match. Okay. Match. Good. WWE hire Gresham and send him to NXT. I I'm 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 so for it. I I would love them to sign any one of these people. You know, ah uh, kind of because it it takes away from my pool of people to use from, but also um you know, they're already established in the brand. I I'd, I'd love to be able to use them full time. Chris Logan is up here in the star category with Lucky Cannon and Eddie Kingston. That's interesting. It's very interesting. And then Tamina, of course. Tamina, Sage Beckett, opposite ends. Opposite ends. But Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my plans for them. I'm gonna do Jillian and Rachel against AJ and Maxine. Actually, will I do that next week? I don't see him hiring Brian Lawler and sending him to NXT. Well, they did hire uh, Shane Douglas and send him to NXT. So, you know, anything's possible. They did give me the Godfather for a month. That was fun. Uh, I think it could happen. Now, now, I don't see them hiring this guy, Dwayne Johnson, and sending him to NXT. That's, that's I think, the... <laughs> The the outside chance. Yeah, I'll 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 wait a week on the on the Jillian Maxine match because I do have ideas for that. That's not happening. <laughs> right, my bow stuff. Okay, I'll do my bow stuff. The Rock just went into politics and I save. Very realistic. The 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 only person I've seen go into politics in TW where I'm like I, I believe it. <laughs> you know, and, and Young Rock when he's the president. I believe it. I believe it. Uh, give me Derek Bateman, West Briscoe, Bo Dallas. And Bateman and Briscoe say they no longer believe Pad Roman in current day saves go into politics multiple times. Holy shit, that one that one is crazy. Roman? No, he would he would get eaten alive, poor guy. <laughs> So they're upset with how Bo's treated them and they want to go up against him, you know, they're they're mad at him. And Bo is pissed and tries to attack them. Doesn't do much. And he challenges them to a match. So, you know, he, he like, tries to attack them, but there's two of them. So they, they do a pretty good job fighting them off. He's really mad. I wrote doesn't do match. He does do match. He doesn't do much. 
the the, the synapses are are firing wrong. <laughs> Give me a handicap match, please. Podalis, West Briscoe, Derek Bateman. West Briscoe pins Bo Dallas. No, after like six minutes or so. And then after the match, Bo gets up and celebrates B Leavers, which is what they're now called. Leave. You know, they, they, they see him, they see he's up to his old shit, and they're like, ugh, no. <laughs> and they just get up and leave. Quick, quick angle, that one. And going to save Stephanie Trudeau on Triple H with Cena. I feel like, okay, I feel like Stephanie and Triple H, there's always some cheating going on with them, but Cena? Now that, now that would surprise me. That would very much surprise me. And this will feature the turn of both Wes and Derek. Um... Uh... have other plans for you as well. Ooh, that shouldn't have happened. That's my bad. That's my bad. I, I do this thing where I set up stories wrong. <laughs> it's, you know, it's my it's it's the gimmick. I can't I can't go against the gimmick. Right, I was doing this storyline. Okay. So I want a match between Maybe they shouldn't be Police Academy yet. I I'll give them one more match. Ray and Hollister. As just Gray and Hollister. And then I'll change their name. Oh, oh, wait. Don't want it to crash the game. There we go. Saved. Saved. <laughs> and then... They're going to go up against... Uh, have I done this match? And if so, how many times? I've not done this match. Okay, this is going to be the match then. At ringside will be Dexter Loomis. And Dexter Loomis will... Defeat... Or he'll attack Carter Gray. And that's how... Eric Rowan will pick up the win over Carter Gray. I'm still waiting for the new item in a TW save. Brian Danielson cheats on Brie Bella with Nikki Bella. <laughs> no, it could never happen. No. Now, John Cena cheats on Nikki Bella with Brie Bella, I could see. I could see that one. I guess Brie, yeah. Yeah, that'd be kind of a double blind, huh? Interesting. So that match happens. Then Carter Gray and Shane Hollister are approached by Sid Justice, who is with his boys. Lethal Weapon, Approach, Gray, and Hollister. Not Douglas. Wrong Shane. <laughs> so this happens after the match. They approach him backstage and basically are like, aren't you guys sick of losing to cheaters? And they're like, yeah. And then they're like, maybe we should uh, team up. Maybe, or maybe, not maybe we should team. Maybe we can help you with that. That's what they'll say. That's what Sid will say. It's good. 
It's very good. And then they'll become Police Academy. Okay. So, my main event angle is going to be Lucky Cannon versus Eddie Kingston right now. So Sid is just a manager now, correct? Possibly road agent. Did he retire? Yeah, Sid's retired. He's uh he's just a manager, and actually, um, once I sign him to work B shows, he's gonna start color commentating on Level Up. And um, I don't really need him as a road agent right now, but if I ever need him as one, I could definitely make him one. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely could. Right. So what went on at this last pay-per-view? Let me go check real quick. That was the um the chamber. That's what happened. So Dexter Loomis is doing his own thing now. Right. Chris Logan's still going to want the title because that's his deal. That's true. That's true. And Ginger's kind of in that... Where is it you're from? I've never asked. I'm from New Jersey. Well, I'm from Washington, and now I'm from New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Ed Eddie Kingston, he's, he's getting the, the push to the moon. He's getting the world. He deserves it. Uh, Chikara style. He de he deserves it all. Mm. So everyone's basically still involved in this. So I'm going to have the New Jersey Devils has a player I know personally on their NHL team. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know literally anything about sports. Um, I do think the New Jersey Devils might be the greatest sports team name, or my favorite at least. I I, I love the name. So I want Jinder and Chris Logan. Mahal and Logan, they're going to argue about who fights Kingston next. And then Cannon and Parham come out. Argue about title. Kingston comes out. Dawson Mercer, he's from Newfoundland, like me. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. Do you have the best team name? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So Kingston comes out, and he's like, why would any of you fight me? Like, I just beat you all. No. Like, I don't care about you guys. Maybe find a real contender for me. And he basically just jabronis them all. <laughs> and uh Jinder Jinder and Logan get pissed of course um but but King, Kingston leaves and he he gets away just fine and that will set up for the main event of Lucky Cannon Chad Parham Jinnam Hall and Chris Logan. 
Eddie Kingston wrestling segment. Yeah, yeah. He cuts he cut the sweet promo where he's like, I just beat every single one of you at the same time. You all suck. I am the champion. Find a real contender. Big roasting segment. It's awesome. And um Give me gender pins. Chad by cheating. That's good. I want AJ Maxine segment where AJ and Maxine are basically like Look, I may not like you, and you may not like me, but you're my best friend, <laughs> and we need to stop fighting, so let's get on the same page. And then Maxine is like, you know, I was thinking about it. I think we should go for the women's tag titles. I think we can be double champions. And AJ Lee just ignores the phrasing of double champions, implying that Maxine would hold the women's title along with her. Because that's not a thing, except for when Laycool does it. Um, But then they're like, AJ's like, I was thinking the exact same thing. And they agree that they're going for the women's tag titles. And later on the show, I'm going to have an interview with Sage, Beckett, and Tamina. And um, they're interviewed by... Tony Shivani, Who is rated on microphone. You're rated on entertainment. And um, in that interview, they talk about AJ and Maxine... And they're like, maybe they should stick to their own lane. Maybe should they should stick to their title. I've already been the best with their title. If 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 they want to come for mine, whatever. But it's 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 not going to be pretty. Tony Jabroni. <laughs> I am. Um. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not renaming him, but, um, we can definitely have the entire roster call him Tony, Sh Tony Jabroni in every segment, uh, they're in with him. And maybe even his fellow comment, Dutch Mantel, Dutch Mantel will call him that all the time. Um, that's a great name for him. <laughs> Brad Attitude. Usos, right. I wanted to do this thing with Uso. Usos and Reigns. Who am I? Who are my tags right now? Have I done franchise versus Usos and Reigns? That's the question. Also involving Joe and Hawaii. We have a lot, okay. <laughs> well, not a lot, but I've done it a couple times. Two, two times. Um, one of them was a DQ. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have a a promo with Reigns. Too bad we couldn't bring The Rock in for one night. Just call him Tony Jeroni and put Roman and the Usos over somehow. Okay, yeah, exactly. That is perfect. I would I would love to to bring in Dwayne as a as a manager for the bloodline. <laughs> that would be very funny. He could, he could cut all their promos. It'd be perfect. So Reigns is in here cutting a promo, and he's basically like, "I didn't get pinned in that four way. I deserve Bo Dallas's title." And then Shane Douglas comes out with his entourage: Percy Watson and Titus O'Neil. And they're like, 
Whoa, 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 you've had your chance. I've not had a chance. I'm the franchise. I, I, it's my title. You know? You can just fuck off. And then Reigns does his thing where he tries to spear him. And then, uh, Titus and Percy start attacking him. The Usos run out and save. It's, it's a hectic angle. I was gonna write angle with them. A lot going on there. That'll lead to one final match from them eventually. I don't think I have a story with any of you people. Add story, please. Roman, Jimmy, Jay, Shane Douglas. And this will be, um, you know, just, just Bloodline franchise because I have an idea of how to end this. It'll be like a month long story. Quick, quick story. Um, because I want to put over somebody and start a new path for another. So this will kick that off. I will script all of you people. Great. Who am I not using? Biggie, Briley Pierce. Briley Pierce I don't have to use. I have plans for him. Tommy Goon. I could do Big E versus Tommy Goon. I'm gonna do in Big E Brad Attitude as well. Okay, okay. So I want Brad Attitude out there with a the promo. And it's gonna be another promo, like I want I want the title. He was the one pinned, but he's he's you know, he's delusional, he wants the title, blah blah blah. Uh Big E comes out. And Big E's like, We have unfinished business, you know. You have cheated against me every time. And I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. I had to deal with this with Bo. All year last year. No, I have to deal with it with you. No. I am going to beat you. And you are not going to have a chance to cheat. And before you even think about going for that title again, you're going to have to get through me. Because I am more important. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That's how that goes. Good friend of Dolph Ziggler? Interesting. Brad Attitude, Briley Pierce friendship? Maybe? <laughs> Do we got any, uh, any friendships in the game? Dating Rain. Interesting. Okay. Right, Jenny Cash and Christy Ricci aren't doing anything. That's fine. They don't really have to. And uh, Tommy Goon. Let me see how many times I've done Tommy. I uh, let's just do Tommy Goon versus Pimps. It's what I did at the last show, but I'm. I'm keeping it going. I don't care. I'm keeping it going. How are you guys doing? You're doing great. You're doing great. Tell me, Gray, you're going to be go going up against um Camacho. No. Sweet Puppy Sanchez. Leo Kruger. Maybe it should be Camacho. Camacho's got hot momentum, but he's got no popularity. I gotta have it be you. At ringside will be the other Tommies. And Sweet Poppy Sanchez. And Leo Kruger. And Jillian. And Rachel. And Naomi. And, you know, they're gonna stop them from cheating and get the win. And I'll do a big segment with them as well.
Camacho, Sweet Puppy Sanchez, Lou Kruger, Jillian, and Rachel. You know, the usual comedy segment, but Tommy Goon are going to be assholes in it. That's about it. Not, not Nothing special there. And uh, I have five more minutes I could book. So I would like to book because I like to pack these cards as much as I can. Um. Oh, oh, I know what to do. Yeah, yeah, let's do a, a quick Ricci Cash video package. You know, they, they're they doing like a skit about they love America. I don't know. Just throw them in for five minutes. Give them the TV time, dang it. Tell them to go crazy. Okay, and this can happen here. That's good. Uh, I would like this to happen here, then this. That's good. Um, Reigns, Douglas franchise. It's definitely a, a, a promo heavy show. This is gonna happen before this. I'm not gonna open with the, with the stupid America video. Um, I wanna open with this, is what I wanna open with. And then I can do this. That works. That goes there. Um, the Brad Attitude Biggie promo uh this angle this angle i want to put this up here uh, god there's so much freaking angles on this show the matches don't really uh break them up very well i guess i would put this here that looks good to me yeah, big big angle heavy show. It happens. It happens. Okay, angle, angle. Camacho defeats Tommy Gray. You know, he's getting better. Uh promo, promo. Neo Wyatt's defeat Gray and Hollister. Again, Gray and Hollister are doing fantastic. Carter Grant said Justice have excellent chemistry together. He he wasn't pretend he wasn't managing in them in this match though. They're supposed to be, he's supposed to be managing them later. It's fine. Uh that happens. Oh. Uh, are you sure you wish to continue? No, 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 I don't. I'd like to con to turn you both, please. The Believers defeated Bo to Hellas in a handicap match. Bo gets up and celebrates. Believers leave. Uh, big angle there. Tony Jabroni manages or interviews uh, these people. Jinder and Logan defeat Cannon and Parham with cheating. Jinder Mahal and Chris Logan don't work well as a team. They're kind of all over the place. That's fine. Whatever. They don't gotta be a team. I feel like I've gotten very unlucky with tag team chemistry in this save. I've found, like, no excellent chemistry and a lot of bad chemistry. Not not too much bad chemistry, I guess. Maybe maybe I've had more neutral luck. Which I'm okay with. Oh, no! Maurice and Miz broke up. So sad. Are said to remain friends, but nobody believes them. So sad. Roman Reigns' money, strap a rocket to him. I've heard that one before, Chris Logan. I've heard that one before. Maybe not a rocket. Maybe a, a slow build. Mm -hmm. And the bad chemistry uh, immediately fixed. Go on. <laughs> Go on. I should probably do that more. Actually, like, edit chemistry myself. 
I'm always like, eh, how are the mod makers wanting it? That's how it should be. Oh, the young bucks. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. That, that would be my first one I would go to fix immediately. Yeah, yeah. That's very fair. I've like I've never done that though. I've never gone in an editor and edited chemistry, but I definitely should in situations like that. It only makes sense. Uh Sid is officially signed as a non wrestler now, which is good because that means he can work B shows. So I'm gonna make the level up announce team. It's gonna be Tony Shivani, Shane Douglas, and Sid Justice. So that'll be interesting. Uh, Shane Douglas being the heel commentator, whereas Dutch Mantel is the heel commentator on the normal lineup. And uh, who knows? Maybe maybe you guys will be great commentators and I could uh, make you, you know, full time. I don't know. All right. All right. Send to the next show. Send to the next show. That'll be interesting, though, to to see a full show with uh, Sid, and, Sid and Shane on commentary. I do think it's funny that Sid decided to be a um, a commentator after his retirement. Only do it for teams they know have great chemistry, especially if a brother or sister team. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's that's also what I would do. I feel like I'd always um, I I I would go and do that for like Kai and Tai because I can't. I couldn't do a save. I wouldn't want to do a save with them where they're not putting on the greatest matches of my shows. I love them so much. Kai and Tai and the Young Bucks. Respect has been giving a warning. Oh, no, 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 no. Found it by Daisy Hayes? That's awesome. I didn't know that. What? Oh, I see. That's because it was, um, I see why that happened. Never mind. I was so confused, but this makes a lot of sense now. Okay, I get it. Game. <laughs> it's cool, though. That's very cool. Steve Kern, Percy Watson. I appreciate Steve Kern helping all the boys. You know, he's he's a great owner. I I really appreciate him. Dexter Loomis, you want to make friends with Jimmy Uso? I keep trying to make the Usos friends with people and it never works. Right. What what was I doing at this show? Oh, just like jobber bullshit. Um Naomi and Jillian. You know what? Naomi and Rachel. Let's see how they do. And... I mean, I might as well throw them against Ixana and Brooke again, right? Right? How are you... Uh... Very warm momentum. I'll have Ixana beat... Naomi. That sounds good. I tried to buy them in my 2012 save, but they are interested in selling up, and they're like 400000 in the red. I I hate when that happens. I've, I've, I've tried to do that in a bunch of games, and uh, not interested in selling up all the time. Mm. Poor Brad Attitude's momentum is in the in the shitter. Does he want to work Jerry Sags as a face? Imagine Jerry F Sags as a face. No, I can't imagine it either. <laughs> this is the match, though. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Noah is five million in debt, but apparently aren't in finance problem. What? 
Doesn't even make sense. This game's crazy. I want to buy them so bad. I'd be an awesome company to to have. Whatever you're gonna do with them. All right, I can change them to Police Academy now that they are officially part of the force. Big plans for you guys, big plans. Believer is doing very well. Um... Actually, how are my how are my Wyatt's doing? Like popularity wise, twenty. Oh, that's very good, actually. Twenty twenty six. Okay, they're doing they're doing solid. I'm I'm very happy with that. Cannot complain. I cannot complain. Um, I'll do, I'll do my women. They need more experience. I'll do my women. I'll do Richie and, uh, other girl. And Garrett. And Carwin. Probably uses a dev because I wouldn't want to end the history of their company. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I, I would definitely agree with that. Carwin and um, Santana Garrett, you are going to be your, your masked persona spider girl, of course. Against uh, Freedom Force. And then could bring over some of their talent at times. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. I feel like I've underestimated using developmental companies like that, you know, like you could always just, just sign a company to be a vet developmental and then never sign them a worker. <laughs> it's an interesting idea. Oh. That's good. And then I have time to do a big angle with all my people. And um, Exana and Brooke. And it, again, it'll continue that story of um, them, of Brooke's turn and her allegiance with Exana. DDP is in Nova in this save. What the heck? That sounds awesome. <laughs> what year is that? Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. Two thousand twelve. Wow, that's about when I thought <laughs> DDP and Noah. My brain. Two thousand twelve. Yeah, yeah, sounds right. Now I'm gonna do AJ and Maxine against Jillian and Rachel, and Jillian is going to get the win over AJ Lee. Um, by, where is it? Flash Pinfall. And, you know, it, it won't, it'll be like eight minutes or so. And I'm going to have an angle before that. He's listed as a color commentator and personality. Yeah, it also makes sense, yeah. It's cool. That's cool. 
I love DDP being in Noah. <laughs> So I'm going to have Jillian and Rachel cut a promo on how they want to become tag team champions. They want to be taken seriously. And AJ and Maxine are going to come out and basically laugh at them. They're going to be like, what are you talking about? You guys are losers. We, we're next in line for the championships. I mean, we already have a championship. Of course we're next in line. And Jillian and Rachel are like, what are you talking about? Why? Let's just have a match for it. And they're like, really? You'd want to have a match with us? Okay. You know, whatever whatever makes you happy. They're, they're very happy. And the whole match, they don't take them seriously whatsoever. Make that a, a storytelling match. And uh, they get the loss. They get the loss. Right, the Wyatt Scray and Hollister. Okay, so I want a segment backstage. Shane Hollister, Carter Gray, um, Conrad Tanner, Dino Carter, and Sid Justice. And it's basically a boot camp. Sid, Sid Justice runs boot camp, trains Hollister and Gray. Oh my god, Jimmy Jacobs is fucking amazing. Like, so good. I love Jimmy Jacobs. Well, this is gonna be this is gonna be a long segment where Sid Justice trains them for a long time to be good, and Conrad and Dino are doing the training with them, and they're basically like explaining to them how it goes around here basically saying like this is the training regiment that sid does for them as well you l look into the backstage of police academy and uh, lethal weapon and and them in general and kind of figure out how sid trained them to becoming the champions jimmy should debut on rod team with cm punk against i don't know who yet sounds sounds amazing fuck yeah I am absolutely for that. So, again, Mahal is going to be out there being like, I, I beat all the other contenders. Surely I get the title next. And then, um, who's the other guy? Chris Logan comes out and he's like, I was on your team. I deserve the title. You know, the same shit. And, um, Parham and Cannon come out and they're like, You're che you cheated. Same, same bullshit argument, different day. And then Eddie Kingston comes out again and he's like, You guys can't even have a proper match. What makes you think any of you can fight me? And then, and then he says, You know what? Fine. I will, I will decide who will fight me in two weeks. Right now, I want you guys to fight amongst yourselves, and I will choose who's worthy. And they all complain loudly. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, they don't say fuck, but you know. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? We, I deserve it for this reason. I deserve it. Blah, blah, blah. And Kingston's like, okay, I'll, I'll decide. I'll decide. I don't care. I'm deciding. And so they are going to have to compete in matches to wow Eddie Kingston. And I'm going to have... Uh, have I done Leo Kruger versus Chad Parham? I have not. That sounds like it'd be a good match. Yeah, that can go a while. And Chad's obviously winning that. And I think that'll be a great match.
Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, really? Oh, my God, what's your stamina like? I've never tried to put you in a match that long, I guess. Okay, okay. I mean, I clearly, I, I'm putting at 15. I clearly got to train your stamina to be better. And I have plans for what to do in the future with these people as well. But for now, we're doing this. And uh, I want to match with a man. Please have it be a man. Give me Bull Buchanan as a face. And he is going to go up against Eddie Kingston. And it's going to be a two-minute match. <laughs> Eddie Kingston wins. Squashes in big style. Done. Done and done. Uh... Okay. So... I'm going to do, a 1v1, Odell is his champion right now, okay, I'm not going to do the 1v1 yet, I'm going to do a backstage segment. And Bo Dallas is going to be seen upset for the first time ever. He's going to seem sad. And he's going to be sad about the believers leaving him. And what's his name? Briley Pierce finds him. And he extends his hand. And he says, like, hey, I saw what happened last week. Maybe, maybe I could help with that. Maybe I could be your new friend. And, and Bo gets this like shimmer in his eye. He's like, really? <laughs> you, you would do that for me? And he's like, yeah, of course I would, bud. Of course I would. Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce. I don't know about the lineup for my Elimination Chamber match. What's going on? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I love a good chamber. <laughs> the true believers. The true believers. And, um, I'm going to say Bo Dallas was pinned last week by Wes Briscoe. So Bo Dallas is given a match against Wes Briscoe for his title. Giving him a title shot at ringside will be Derek Bateman, who's cheering on Wes Briscoe and making sure Bo Dallas doesn't cheat. And um, the match is going to win. Bo Dallas is going to win by outside interference from Briley Pierce. Thus retaining his title. Definitely a storytelling match. CM Punk versus Triple H versus Jericho versus Orton versus Big Show versus Miz. Ooh. So <laughs> I'm I'm huh. I don't know how these people are doing in your save. What are what are Big Show's matches like? Like what what's what kind of ratings is he getting in 2012? I'm sure Orton's getting good ratings as much as I don't like him. <laughs> and you can't go wrong with with Punk and Jericho.
Mm. Big Show's been getting 80s. Okay. Okay. I see you, Big Show. <laughs> it's not what I would expect from him around that time, but uh, hey, if it, if it works, go for it. That sounds awesome. I would love a, a, to see a Big Show getting 80s. Big Show's pops at 92. Holy shit. Fair enough. That, I understand now. If I was that popular, I'd be getting 80s. Um, okay. Okay. What's going on here? Um... Right, I was doing Brad Attitude, Big E. How many times have I done that singles match? Because I'd like one more blow-off match, but I could do it. Yeah, I could do another match here. And, I mean, surprise, surprise, Brad Attitude wins by cheating. I'll make this a storytelling match as well. And um, after this match, Biggie snaps and destroys Attitude for a bit. You know, he he like he like he, he beats him beats him bad for a bit. Beats him bad. Um, not not entertainment. Give me menace and selling. Uh, minor success, minor defeat. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Cena won the Rumble, so he will take on whoever comes out of the chamber match at Mania. I'm rooting for Punk. I'm rooting for Punk Cena. Let's go, Punk. Let's go, Punk. I'm going to be pissed when Big Show beats him. <laughs> With his 92 popularity. Oh, this show's almost, like, fully booked. I guess I have been doing long matches. Who haven't I booked, though? A lot of people, really. Wyatt's, Tommy Goon. Oh, Roman Reigns. That's who I should be booking. Hold on. Roman Reigns is who I'm missing. Of course I'm putting Punk over. Fuck yeah! We win! Take that, big show! Punk Cena main eventing mania as it should have been. The Rock Who. The Miz Who. Ugh. Sorry, I just remembered that. Mm. Right, I was doing Reigns and Franchise stuff. So I want to do, have I done Roman Reigns, Shane Douglas, singles? No, I haven't. So I want to do that. And uh, Roman Reigns loses. Because of, you guessed it, interference. A mania unless injuries happen is Dolphin Truth versus Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I won. Yes. This is a dream show. <laughs> I w now, the real dream show would be Truth in the world title picture, but I'll take whatever win I can get. Dolphin Truth does sound like a great tag team, though. I'm I'm very happy my game has, has generated such a such a thing. I'm going to do, so after this match, Reigns gets pissed. You know, kind of like Big E got pissed. Reigns, Reigns uh, starts destroying everyone. Reigns destroys 
Douglas and Franchise. Usos stop him. So the Usos come out and they, they stop him. They're like, whoa, whoa, man, you gotta chill. Which I think sounds awesome. There's a lot going on there. And we have two minutes left. Uh, I'm going to do a quick interview with Tommy Goon. Fuck it. Um, Tony Schiavone interviews Tommy Goon. For two minutes. You know, get a, get everyone on uh, on screen. Give them a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, a little bit of time. And now I have to order this. <laughs> um, this can go wherever. It doesn't really matter. This should go at the beginning of the show. This should go probably up here. Actually, maybe this should go. Down here, I don't know. Uh, no, this this goes way before. This goes down here. And then move this up a little. That's good. Then Brad Attitude, Big E. I don't want to do that right after. I'd rather do this right after. I think that's better. And then the boot camp, right? That's a perfect place for that. Then Brad Attitude, that's perfect. Dallas Briscoe right there is perfect. Yeah, this is the show. This thing's doing a job at Mania. Not what I want to do, but I'm trying to get Drew Galloway over. Fuck yeah. That's what I would want to do. <laughs> sounds like Sounds like the show for me. Shane Douglas defeats Roman Reigns. Eddie Kingston defeats Bull Buchanan. Brown Attitude defeats Peggy Langston. Bo Dallas defeats Wes Briscoe. Big Women's Angle. Ho Train defeats AJ and Maxine. Surprise, surprise win. Tommy Goon interview. Chad Parm defeats Leo Kruger. It's very good. Oh, I meant this to be Chris Logan. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why am I doing Leo Kruger? That's fine. It it doesn't really matter. It can be Leo Kruger. It doesn't matter. Yes, I did actually change his name to Galloway. I'm cool with that. I like I like that name for him. I was a big, big, big Drew Galloway fan. He, huge draw for me. Good job, Alicia Fox won the women's title. Yeah, Leo, Leo Kruger main eventing that show is not intended, but it, it makes sense. It's fine because, um, you know, I didn't like book it to be a specific way in the angle. So that's fine. Conrad Tanner has poor ring psychology. He's probably not worth keeping around. That's not how this game works. Is he not read the concept of the save? He's got poor psychology, but how's it improving? Eh, it's, it's improving. Oh, it's kind of stagnating a little, but it, it was improving. He's 30, I guess. He's 30. Okay. Ty Valkyrie, fuck yeah. About to change name back to Brian Danielson. Uh, 
Fair enough. Fair enough. I remember Riley, my girlfriend, said recently, why did they think Daniel Ryan was a better name? <laughs> Which I thought was funny. Yeah, I never really thought about that. I th I think it's a nice name. I, th I think both names are good. It's just, it's not really WWE style, you know, to call people their real names, especially not anymore, Jesus. <laughs> they love to, ch to butcher everyone's names into something terrible. Oh my god, don't get me started on Gunther. Like, come on, Gunther? No. <laughs> You know, I, I, I appreciate undoing WWE's naming uh, slights. I prefer Brian Danielson, but didn't mind Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Yeah, that's very fair. I will always call him Walter. Yeah, it's it's one of the hardest names to get used to. One of the hardest name changes to get used to because it just it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel right. Daniel Bryan was easy for me. It felt it felt natural to me. Gunther, Gunther, whatever. I, it doesn't feel right. It feels so weird. I'm not I don't vibe with it. Oh god, what's that other one? They have another one like that as well. First of all, they, um, yes, that's the exact one! Oh my god, you said the exact one I was thinking of. They changed Pete Dunn's name to Butch. That's so stupid. First of all, there's already been a Butch in WWE whose name was just Butch. The Bushwhacker. Butch. He was just Butch. You you you've took a bad name and you've copied it. You've you've reused it. What the heck? Because I remember, um, I was playing the WWE 2K23 and I saw Butch on the name list. And I'm like, what? He's in the game. The Bushwhackers are in the game. And I scroll to him and I'm like, that's not Butch. Who the hell is this? And I figure out it's Pete Dunn and my mind is blown. I'm like, what? Poor guy. He unfortunately passed away, like, recently, or is that a long time ago? What was that time? Bushwhacker Butch. 2023? Holy shit! I did not know. Poor Butch. He's getting his name stolen and he's dying. I mean, he, he lived a good life. He get, He lived a good life. He he was a star, damn it. I think the Bushwhackers are underrated. I do. Just after Mania, damn. I do think the Bushwhackers are underrated, I think. The sheep herders, I think I think they're they're very cool and uh they're they're reduced to a lot of their lame stuff, their lame comedy stuff. <laughs> Which, you know, it happens. I mean our truth's getting the same treatment. I mean, his comedy stuff isn't lame though. His comedy stuff's awesome. It's just not what I would remember him for. Poor Biggie, your 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 momentum. To be fair, I've been booking you badly. I'll fix that. I'll fix that. It's a, the beginning of your rise. I swear. I'll book you better. You. To be fair, you did suck. I mean, like, look at this. Five. I've I've pulled you out from the weeds. You're pulling off 26s now. I met Luke from the Bushwhacker, Bush, uh, Bushwhackers, but at the time, Butch wasn't traveling due to health issues. Damn. Damn. I, I appreciate how much um, those guys have done.
they they get they got around. They did so much in in wrestling. Awesome. Right, I'm just booking level up. <laughs> I gotta remind myself what I'm doing. Did I not book anyone last week? Yeah, a few people. Mostly just the Wyatts, which is fine. I have plans for them. I have plans for all the people I didn't book last week, so that's fine. I want someone for Big E to squash. Matt Bentley can put on a good match. I think he's the guy. Matt Bentley, Big E. Uh, not, nice, nice little squash for Big E. Give him that experience as well, because again, he kind of needs it. That's good. Mm, I want Penelope Carwin, who is Gemma. Me. Either Chender, Gemma Palmer, please. I feel like I'm I'm training her up, even though I'm not supposed to be. Like that's not that's not part of my thing anymore, because I don't have her on my company. But she's still my girl. She's still an NXT original. I don't know who AJ should face for the IC title on this pay per view. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who you got. By this pay per view, do you mean WrestleMania? Or oh, do you mean Chamber? Probably Chamber, or No Way Out, or whatever you're. You're doing. Yeah, I want I want a big, big six man, six woman. Exana, Brooke, Penelope, uh, Jillian, Rachel, and Naomi. And Give me a Jillian win over Penelope. That's good. No, Elimination Chamber. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. What else I got? Poor Maxine. Her momentum's also down. I'll give someone Maxine to Maxine. I'll give you to Maxine. Yeah, on like a quick quick match never done it before even and um an angle as well aj versus wade barrett at mania whether aj is still champ or not Ooh, interesting very interesting how's wade barrett doing in uh in 2012 because he was looking real bright in 2010 he was looking real good AJ Brooke, Penelope, Jillian, Rachel, Naomi, Sweet Puppy Sanchez, Camacho, and not not Penelope Carwin, Leo Kruger, Leo Kruger. Yeah, segment continuing that story. It's a big level up story right now, the book Brooke betrayal. Meaning I don't really want to book it. Um, this this match is good. I gonna have this one go a little longer. It's a, it's a big match. By big I mean a lot of people. <laughs> this is good. Maxine beats Garrett. It sucked. That's fine. Seventy two Papa got forty when started. Thank you for fixing him. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not even like a huge Wade Barrett fan or anything. He just he just had so much potential in 2010. 
that I feel like they didn't follow up on very well, but you could say that about the whole Nexus, really. Most of the Nexus. I'm a big Nexus person, which makes sense because I'm a big NXT person, NXT 2010 era person. I'm the only person in the world who likes reality show NXT. I've always liked Wade, hell yeah. Even though I don't care about him, I, I, I do think he deserved so much better. And I do think he, he's, he was pretty good and had, had a lot of potential. Definitely. No. Why is Taylor B on the main roster? He only has seven pop. <laughs> I meant to send him down. Tyler B, another awesome guy. So I'm going to do another uh, training segment with Sid, Dino Carter, Conrad Tanner, and the boys, Carter Gray, and Shane Hollister, Police Academy training segment. You know, sort of building on the one last week. And, and um, in this one, you can see they're getting better. They're, it's implied that they do this every day. So after a week of doing this every day, they're getting better. Goldberg's driving to Tyler Bate tonight. <laughs> what the heck? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Doesn't make any sense, but I'm here for it. And then Wyatt's are going to get a promo. And they're, they're, they're going to be asked, like, how do you feel about the police academy training to fight you guys specifically? And they're going to basically shrug them off like they're nothing. They're going to be like, Dexter Loomis is like, I've seen their training. They're not a threat. They're not a threat. We have beat them every time. We'll beat their trainees again. Easy. Easy. Farming Goldberg's pop to him and seeing what rating Tyler gets in ring. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. He probably won't get very good in ring, considering he's that low popularity, but he is Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate, so anything's possible. Anything is possible. Right, okay, so I need an angle with Jillian, Rachel, uh, Tamina, and Sage Beckett. Jillian and Rachel promo. And they're basically going to be like, we're in line next for a title shot. And Tamina and Sage are going to come out and they're going to be like, are you serious? And basically same stuff that happened last night with AJ and Maxine. And they're going to be like, is this a joke? You you had a fluke win against some loser and you think you're even close to honor level. And they're like, basically every other tag team has gotten a shot. I think it's our time. And you shouldn't underestimate us. And they say, fine. You can have the match. We'll give it to you. AJ and Maxine complain. So AJ and Maxine are going to be there too. And they're going to be like complaining. But. 
um, Steve Kern's going to come out and he's going to say, AJ, you got to defend your women's title. You you got to stop worrying about other titles. You have your own title to worry about. And I have a challenger for you tonight. And then AJ's like, what? No, don't, don't give me a challenger. How dare you? And that challenger is Christy Ricci. And <laughs> I'm giving Christy Ricci the win. She's not winning the title. It's not a title match, but it's a match. I know Queen Maxine's going to be out there at ringside, and so is... Jenny Cash, and Jenny Cash is going to stop Maxine from interfering and cheating and uh, give give her girl the win. Not for a title. So, I want broad attitude cuts hospital pro he's in the hospital in like a full body cast and obviously biggie didn't hurt him enough to be in a full body cast in the hospital for a week but that's what he's doing and he condemns biggie and says biggie deserves to be fired and that he will quit if biggie isn't fired and S S steve kern comes out and he's he's talking to the 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 hospital up on the Titan Tron hospital cam, and he's like, I'm not firing Big E. Maybe you should stop acting like such a prick. And then Brad Brad gets you know, he gets pissed. And and he, he gets up from his hospital bed and um starts ripping off his cast and shit. And he cuts he cuts a, a promo where he's all worked up screaming in the camera. Biggie's there as well. That's what goes on there. Options for AJ upon our Edge, Jack Swagger, Kazarian, Mason Ryan, Matt Hardy. I mean... <laughs> oh. Because I'm... Obviously, I feel like Edge is, is the no-brainer pick. But Edge could be doing something else as well. You know, Jack Swagger would be an awesome pick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else what else the guys would be doing otherwise. If Edge isn't doing anything else, then I'd I'd do Edge. I think they're all good options, though. I think they're all good options. Right, I'm continuing this storyline. Okay. I'm going to do Lucky Cannon versus Chad Parham. Which I've I've done a bunch before, but I'm doing it again. This time in 2011. And basically, they're showing off their skills. I'm not really doing much with Edge. He just returned from injury. Then yeah, I would absolutely do Edge, personally. And this match is not going to happen. Winner's going to be Chad, but it's going to be due to uh, interference. DQ finish. After Chad is attacked by Jinder. Not Jinder. Actually, yeah, Jinder. Let's, I, I want Jinder and Chris Logan to attack both of them. I guess it would be a double DQ. That that works. That works. Double DQ. That's draw. Not Chad Parm. Be Victor. Perfect. And uh, you know. Jinder, Cannon, 
Parham, Logan Brawl, and Kingston pulls up a seat and watches in in glee. Exactly what he wanted to happen is happening. You will be fighting, fighting. Parham Logan, Lucky Cannon, fighting, and Ginger Ball fighting. Every everyone's fighting and he's he's getting exactly what he wants. I don't care who wins it, so I'm leaving it up to the road agent. The edge match <laughs> Or, well, if Edge is in it. The the AJ match, <laughs> I should say. I own TNA, so that's why I have Kazarian, among others, there, include, including their titles. Holy shit. You're going far. You're going places. Monopoly on the market. As usual, really, though. I went with Edge. Fuck yeah! Happy, happy to see it. Happy to see it. What if I not booked yet? Bo Dallas. I, I have Bo Dallas stuff going on. So I'm gonna do... Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce against Derek Bateman and Wes Briscoe. And Briley Pierce is going to get the win over Derek Idiot. How are their momentums and stuff? Yeah, they're they're fine. My TNA tag champs have shit chemistry. Who are they? Who are they? This can be, this can be a match that goes at least a little time. I also want Sage Beckett versus Rachel Lynn. And Sage Beckett's going to win that pretty quickly. Our ringside will be Tamina and Jillian as well. It's going to be like a five-minute match. It's not going to be a squash, but it'll be a little bit of a squash. <laughs> RVD and Kofi? Interesting. Interesting. I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. As much as I love then solo mm. Usos and Reigns versus Franchise Angle that's going on right right Franchise want, or Us Usos, Usos come out for their match with the franchise, but Franchise say, um, they're not doing this match if Roman Reigns is anywhere near it, and they, they say, fine, Roman Reigns won't be out here, we'll, we'll, um, we'll do it with no Roman, because they're, they're scared of Roman, they don't, they don't want him to have any part of this. Um, Roman Reigns will be off screen. Dolphin, our truth, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's that's much better TNA tag champs. I guess if you have the TNA belts, I mean, if if you're kind of including TNA history, then our truth was already a world champion in your company. You got to include that. That legacy is part of it. Our truth is a world champion in your company. That's awesome. 
you know what? That's that's how to get my R Truth World title reign in WWE. Is if they ever buy out TNA, that's how I'm gonna get it retroactively by a technicality. And then this match happens. It's Usos versus Franchise. 2v2. At ringside is Shane Douglas. I don't have to write that because he's already their manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they're going to get the win. By they, I mean Titus and Percy, of course, by manager interference. And after that match, what a shock. Reigns runs out and destroys. No. Reigns runs out and tries to destroy the franchise, but. And gets hit with a chair by Douglas. So, you know, he's he's like, he's spearing the other guys. Douglas hits him with the chair. And uh, they they eventually get the upper hand with the weapons. He was, but at the time it was NWA World Championship. Yeah, I know. Which honestly makes it more prestigious. I had to vacate the TNA World Championship because Joe got hurt. It happens. Poor Joe. Poor Joe. Never, never getting what he wants in WWE. Everyone's just going to be raiding on fighting. And I'm going to give the uh, success to you guys. Sounds good. And then I have four minutes. Oh, am I not bugging? Again, I'm not doing anything with Tommy Gun. Who were they even fighting? They were fighting the pimps? Okay, I can, I can do a pimp segment. Just, you know, quick comedy segment with them. It's, it's my worst book angle on the show, but I gotta do something with the guys. Uh, Jillian and Rachel are busy, so I won't put them in it, but Naomi can be in it. And um, Bro Brooke will also be in it. Brooke will be with Tommy Goon. Get everyone on TV in this stupid bad angle. <laughs> Look, not every angle can be a slam dunk. The finals in the tournament for the titles, Christopher Daniels is Matt Hardy and Amy. I'm rooting for Daniels. I'm rooting for Daniels. But that's that is that is a good match. That is a good match. Okay. This is what's ending the show. Uh, this will go early. This will go late. Richie AJ. This can happen right here. That's fine. Actually, no. This should happen way early. Because this this will turn into that Tamina match. Not Tamina. The Sage Beckett match. And then I'll do this late. That's good. This can happen whenever. This happens here. That's fine. Jeff Hardy's in rehab to no one's surprise. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, This will happen after this match. So actually, I think I want to put this match at the beginning of the show. And, um this angle as well. Kind of open the show with this stuff. Then I could do this. No, I'll put this down here. And then this. Then the training segment. Too many segments in a row. So... Pimp segment will open the show. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Hospital promo goes here. That's good. Pimp segment will not open the show. I've changed my mind. It goes here. This is the show. This is the show. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've changed my mind again. This goes here. Obviously after the Douglas thing. Here. Okay, perfect. Done. Run it. Franchise defeats Usos by cheating. Reigns uh, gets beat this time. Pimp segment. The true believers defeat the believers. When Briley Pierce pins Derek Bateman with a hot and bothered. Interesting. Interesting, Briley Pierce. What are you trying to tell me? Brad Attitude. Bullshit. Jillian Rachel promo. That's good. Sage Beckett defeats Rachel Lynn. That's also good. I mean, it's not good because it sucks, but it's good. <laughs> I, keep, I gotta keep saying no when I mean yes. Police Academy training segment. Christy Ricci defeats AJ Lee. Wyatt's interview. And the main event is a stupid fight that ends in chaos. What do you think of my NWO? Kevin Nash, Triple H, HBK, and Beer Money, and Simply Luscious. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about DX being part of NWO. I don't know. I like the rest of it, but... But that's... I mean, I get it. I get it. I do get it. I don't know how I feel about it. Carl Anderson, June Kasai beef? No. No. Sid's on drugs, I know. I know he's on drugs. I know. You don't have to tell me. Okay, okay. Well, one more show. Go home show and then the pay-per-view. I forgot I have coffee. It's like room temperature by now. That's okay. It's still good. It's still good. Have to sit and ask him to get off the drugs? You can do that? You can do that? New tech? Oh, oh my god. This whole time, I've been making things so much harder on myself. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can't believe I've lived this long without knowing I could do that. That is so useful. All I had to do was say stop. Finding him did nothing. All I had to do was say stop. Mind you, it doesn't always work, but I always try. Well, yeah, of course it doesn't always work, but... That's amazing to know. I have made so many rock locker rooms so toxic because of all these failed drug tests. And this whole time I could have just said stop. That'll, that'll increase your lifespan, Sid. You should be thanking me. You got a loyalty relationship with me? You should. <laughs> no? You're ungrateful bitch. Sorry. Sorry, Sid. I didn't mean it. I'm just saving your life over here.
All right. NXT. That's me acting hype. I honestly thought you knew about that. I should have. I don't know how I didn't because I've been playing this game a ton since the day it came out. <laughs> I I never knew that. There's it's insane how much I can play this game and how there are still features I just don't know about. It's it's insane. Who who's at the top of the Power 500? Chris Jericho? That's cool. Ooh, Liger. Hello, Liger. True. Naomichi Marufuji? He's he's New Japan and Noah. Interesting. Ricky Choshu? Ricky Choshu, you, you're you going crazy. You're 59 and you're number 38. Like, come on. You're above Yuji Nagata. Ron Killings, number 47. Let's go. That's the boy. Let's go. I see Punk in top five. Top six, top six, very close to top five, top six. He'll, he'll, he'll get up there. He'll get up there. It's time. Um, Big E, could you be friends with Bo Dallas? That'd be awesome. Nope. Alright, Biggie doesn't look like he wants to make any friends. How about Shane Hollister? Shane Hollister and Derek Bateman? Yeah, they're strong friends now. Go home level up, as if that can be a thing. This is the go home level up. Punk was ahead of Cena by one spot. Yes! That's a win! I mean, my, my, my feud here right now is kind of Brooke versus, um, these people. You know what? I could throw Richie and Cash in this feud. I think that would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would make for a good pay-per-view match. So let's throw Richie and Cash into this. And they'll lose to Exana and Brooke by cheating. Brooke cheats. She's gone to the dark side officially. Was any of the boys you built up in the 100? Probably. Or the 500. Probably, yeah. Mm, I didn't build Brad. I'm building him now, but I didn't build him. No one on the roster. Uh, I can't see it anymore. <laughs> How is Johnny Curtis? Number 328. Um, I built him. That's one. Richie Steamboat didn't make it. That's fair. He wasn't really booked much. Mike Manson? No, didn't make it. Okay, okay. I'm sure Daniel Bryan was up there. Mason Ryan might have been. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe. Time to start to build a beautiful Bobby Lashley. Fuck yeah. Uh, Mason Ryan's not, I mean, I didn't really build Lita, and she's not even there, so. Mm. I didn't really build you, but you're there. <laughs> I certainly used you.
Yeah, a lot of these aren't guys I really built. Okay. His first victim, Bully the Bitch Ray. It's an interesting name. Brother Ray. <clears throat> Sana and Brooke continue to beat down Freedom Force. Naomi saves. Wow. That's Brooke. Exana. Christy Ricci. Jenny Cash. And Naomi. Um, you'll all be fighting. Na yeah, you just just fighting. Fighting. Three minute segment. That's good. Never was a fan of Bubba Ray Dudley. Thought he was useless. No! That's very not true. That's very not true. Very not true. You ever seen TLC and TLC 2? Shit's awesome. He's had so many cool matches. Oh my god, that the ta the the table match with um uh, who even was it the Hardys? The table match with the Hardys? That match is so cool. I don't even remember if it was the Hardys or Edge and Christian. I just know it was <laughs> them. And they did so many cool table spots. Oh my god. And like 99. I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan, personally. Personally. But that's just me. All these people with bad momentum are people I'm planning to fix anyway, except for Maxine. I'll I'll do another Maxine match. Against Caroline Lieben, I haven't really been using you as much. You know, quick quick match. They have awful chemistry. Whatever. No, 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 no. Give me... <laughs> give me Kristen Flake. AJ and Maxine against Kristen Flake and Caroline Lehman. That should be better. And then Maxine can pin Caroline. I can go like five minutes or so, six minutes. <laughs> Then someone else will start grabbing out because you came over in the TNA purchase. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Go on. Make a new. Make a new Kruger. Oh, I know exactly what to do. Leo Kruger and Sweet Poppy Sanchez against Tommy Boo. Might as well throw it on this show. Fuck it. Actually, I'll have it be Camacho and Sweet Poppy Sanchez. Austin Aries. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. He would be good at it. I'll give him he would be good at jobbing. Uh, Camacho is attacked by Tommy Gray, I assume is someone not in this match. Gray? No, it's <laughs> Tommy Taylor. Tommy Taylor. Or Tom Pritchard, either works. Mm. 
at ringside will also be all the other people, you know, just just Jillian, Rachel, and Leo, though. Just Jillian, Rachel, and Leo. And that'll be the main. Um, cut this down one minute and then add a segment. Put this here. Add a segment with Tommy Goon. And Pimps, which is Sweet Poppy Sanchez, Camacho, Lou Kruger, Jillian, and Rachel. It'll be like a four-minute segment. Again, this is a lazy angle that I have good payoff planned for. I, I, I swear I have payoff planned for this, damn it. Aries versus John Morrison. If you know, you know. I do know. I do know. I do know. I'm a big Jomo fan. Johnny Wrestling. AJ Lee carried the match. Thank you, AJ Lee. Thank you. Big tag show. Big tag show. Okay. Now. Now. Jillian versus Tamina. At ringside will be Rachel and Sage. And again, no, no cheating needed. They're just they're just dominant heels. Jomo is actually the X Division champion. Oh my god! Yes, please. That's awesome. I'm so for that. What am I doing? Okay, okay, okay. So. Oh, right. I was doing um Freedom Force versus AJ and Maxine, wasn't I? I kind of forgot. Oops. Right, because I had Richie be AJ. And now I'm going to have Maxine pin Jenny Cash by cheating. That's how that's going to go. A little bit of, little bit of storytelling match. That's good. I want a... Uh, Okay, I'm going to have Jinder, Cannon, Parham, and who the hell was I teaming? <laughs> Jinder, Lucky, Chris Logan, and Chris Logan demand to know who gets the title shot. And then Kitty Kingston says, oh, are you still hung up about that? Obviously, it goes to Lucky Cannon. He has the rematch clause. I mean, was that not clear? And then <laughs> Logan and Mahal get pissed and they attack Kingston, but Cannon and Parham fight them off. That's how that goes. He goes, obviously, it's going to Lucky Cannon. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? What do you expect? So I like that. I think that's fun. Um, In the main event, I'll do Chad Parham versus Eddie Kingston. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I got to save that. That's a big one. Maybe Chris Logan versus Lucky Cannon? Have I done that? No, I haven't really done that. I'll do that.
Mucky Cannon's winning that. They can go like 15. Chris Logan is the new Dexter Loomis. <laughs> yeah, he really is. He really is. And funnily enough, the new Dexter Loomis of the Wyatts is uh, Vincent Nero. I keep forgetting him. Which reminds me, I gotta do that match. So what I wanted to do here is a match where it's the Wyatts, Dexter Loomis, and they team with Jinder Mahal because, you know, Jinder's been their friend from way back. And they're going to be up against Lethal Weapon and Dom. Hold on. Lethal Weapon and Police Academy. In their debut match as Police Academy. So basically, Dino Carter and Conrad Tanner are going to be here to help them through. They're going to, it's going to be implied that they have improved a lot. And. I'm going to have Shane Hollister get the win over Dexter Loomis. Because that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. Uh... True believers versus believers. True believers versus believers. Okay, okay. So I want Derek Bateman and Wes Briscoe to cut a promo on, or to, to have a conversation with the believers, Bo Dallas and. Briley Pierce. And they're doing that. And then Biggie Biggie walks over. Cause the believers, they're like, okay, you know, we're we're so done with you. You all you do is cheat. You 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 don't win. You suck. You suck. We're so over your shit. And he's like, Whoa, don't you want my title? And then they're like, Yeah, but it's just, it's not a real fight with you. And he's like, no, we can change the stipulation. Come on, come on. You're my, you're my guys. You're my friends. Come on. Cause he, he, he still thinks he's friends with them. And they're like, w and he's like, I, I'll make it a four way. Put in Briley Pierce, please. And they're like, they're like, okay, I'll accept that. And, and Biggie, Biggie walks by and he's like, good luck ever, ever getting out of that. Just the quick Biggie cameo. I'm gonna I'm gonna even add cameo appearance by Biggie. Cause that's fun. So that's the match booked for the show for the title. Big four way. Um Bo still thinks he's friends with them and he's treating the title match as like a fun friend game because he's insane. What's your opinion on the message before the Chris Logan message? What do you mean by that? On the message before the Chris Logan message? <laughs> Alright, I was doing franchise Uso stuff. Franchise ask for a hardcore match at Unforgiven. Usos accept. So, you know, they're going to cut a promo being like, it's not fair. It's not fair to go against Roman Reigns. Guy sucks. Fuck him. You know, they're, they're, they're going to put him over by saying he's like too strong, but they're not going to say any of that. They're, they're going to say he like sucks. About option C, unless message didn't come true. Oh, I didn't see that. I need to decide if I'm going to continue option C 
to where at a certain event undecided, the ex-champ can cash in for a world title. Hmm. If I'm going to continue option C to where at a certain event undecided, the ex-champ can cash in for a world title shot. I would. I would. I think that's cool. I like that stuff personally. I, I I'm I'm totally for championships giving giving people opportunities like that. I think that's a great great bit. Franchise asked for hardcore match at Unforgiven Ace of Success. So yeah, basically they they put over Reigns without putting him over. If that makes sense. And they, the whole time, they're like, make him stay back. Make him stay away. Because he's there. And they, they make him stay away from them. <laughs> Might make it at SummerSlam. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Broad attitude, biggie. Broad attitude, biggie. Right, the Brad Attitude fake hospital promo bullshit. Okay, okay. Um, so Brad Attitude is going to what's the match called? Hold on. Let me let me check these matches. What's the match called? Like a like a stretcher match? Is that what I'm thinking of? Or an ambulance match, even? I could do an ambulance match. That's fun. Ambulance match. Okay, hold on. Brad Attitude comes to the arena. And again, he's all bandaged up, even though that stuff was clearly fake. And, and he, again, calls for Biggie's firing. Biggie runs in. And attacks him with, you know, cane. Because cause he'll have, like, a cane and he'll have casts and stuff. And he'll take all that off and attack him with it and just beat him with it. That's what goes on there. And Steve Kern doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He lets it happen. Biggie Menace. You entertainment. You entertainment. That's great. Success for you. Defeat for you. That's great. Ambulance and stretcher match is basically the same. Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. And um in in this angle, Steve Kern will book a, an ambulance slash stretcher match for the pay-per-view. Uh this is some some fun gimmicks for the pay-per-view. For Divas title, it's Sasha Banks versus Mickey James. That sounds like an awesome match. That's that's awesome. I loved when Mickey James came back. I I I ended up becoming like such a huge fan of her. Like I root, I was rooting for her every time, and I I didn't realize how much of a Mickey James fan I was before that. But uh, that definitely opened my eyes. Mew. Against. Give me sweet Poppy Sanchez and Tommy Mercer. And um I just want I just want a quick win on this one. And uh he'll fight mm. off the other Tommies, basically. Not him, but the other people will. Naomi will be there as well. Yeah. You know. Match. I'm a big Sasha fan. Oh yeah, she's she's great. I'm not a big Sasha fan. <laughs> Only because of the way she was booked in WWE um near the end. But in NXT she was amazing and some of those matches she had were inc was in were incredible. Like come on, so good. I want to do Oksana, Brooke, and, um, 
Naomi anymore. Um, just just basically bringing this angle to the to the big show. Not that big show. <laughs> And, um, I have more time. I have more time. So, give me Chris Logan backstage, uh, tells Lucky Cannon it's not fair. He's already had the title. Chris Logan deserves that title chance. Lucky Cannon says, I disagree with you entirely. I don't know what's not fair about that. But they they sort of agree. Lucky Cannon's like, you know what? I'll give you a shot. I'll give you I'll give you the title shot if you can beat me in the main event. I'll give you my title shot. And he's like, what? Really? And he's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And um, he tries to cheat here, but it's it's uh, it's all in vain. Mason Ryan's getting a match at Chamber, though, versus Drew Galloway. That's, that match sounds awesome. That is a match I like to hear. Okay. This opens the show. This goes somewhere in the middle. Uh, this can go around here. This can go up here. Put the Freedom Force match down here. That's good. Not there, though. Like More like right here. Um, franchise shit goes around here. Jolene Tamina would go around here. Maybe put this here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is the show. This angle, Sweet Poppy Sanchez defeats Tommy Mercer in a really good match. This angle, this angle. AJ and Maxine defeat Freedom Force. Chris, Logan, and Lucky argue. Tamina beats Jillian. This angle. Force beats Wyatt. Some interesting stuff going on here. Carter Gray had a performance of 50. Frat Attitude, Big E angle. Lucky Cannon defeats Chris Logan in the main. It was not great, honestly. Could have been better. Could have been better. And next is the pay-per-view. And then after that, I will go eat lunch and then maybe stream something else later. But for now, pay-per-view. I will sim to that. And actually, we'll be grabbing something. Before that as well. All right, pay-per-view time. Wildcat's going to go bankrupt. So sad. My AI-generated company. Okay, okay.
Brooke bought her puppy. Everyone loved it. Brooke, maybe? Brooke? Brooke Jillian? So, Eddie King's the Lucky Cannon. Wildcat's a legit company in wrestling school owned by Luke Cox. Well, this one is not, because this one was created by ChatGPT. <laughs> um, obviously, Kingston's winning this. That's no question. For the title, and uh, I can go. I can go a good amount of time. You know, like seventeen minutes. Chilean and Rachel against Tamina and Sage Beckett, and the winners. Jillian and Rachel. What? It's true. It's damn true. They're not going to take him seriously. They're going to get a flash pinfall. New champs. Uh, give me a four-way. Bo Dallas, Briley Pierce, West Coast Code, Derek Bateman. And the winner will be Bo Dallas. And... There's going to be a stipulation, like in that one match with Undertaker and Kane. It was like Undertaker, Kane, Steve Austin or something, where they weren't allowed to pin each other. There's going to be a stipulation, Bo and Briley aren't allowed to pin each other. Derek Bateman and Wes Briscoe aren't allowed to pin each other. So Bo Dallas is going to get the win over Wes Briscoe. And he's basically going to do it by hitting him with the chair a ton of times. You know, he's going to go like hardcore... And he's going to go crazy. And it's going to be um, a little brutal. You know, he's going to show off his, his, his brutal side in this match to retain his title. AJ Lee defends her title against Christy Ricci. She doesn't have an issue with it. It's a pretty easy match for her. I'll go like 11 minutes though. And ah, Christy Ricci can't go that long. And then I'm also going to do a match with Queen Maxine against Jenny Cash. And Queen Maxine's going to win that one. In like seven minutes. You know, quick, quick match, quick match. And how are my other women doing? It's just you four. Okay, I'll grab a uh, Carwin for this one. And make it a bit of a tag team match. 
Exana and Brooke against Penelope Carwin and Naomi. And uh, Exana is going to get the pin on Penelope Carwin. In like eight minutes or so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to make an ambulance match. Because that doesn't exist here. Is there a casket match? There is. Add new match. I need an ambulance match. And then trap with an item, trapping item, yeah. Um, I'll make it default for me, I don't care. And I'll make these low. One fall regular ring. Yeah, I'll have it. I'll have it be ring, and they and they'll have the ambulance up on the ramp, like they like they they would. That sounds good. Whatever, this can be five and five. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm uh, I'm finishing up my pay per view personally. This will be Big E, and it's going very good, very good. Big E and Brad Attitude in an ambulance match. And, uh, oh, uh, how long could they wild brawl? They could, they could wild brawl a little. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll have to be a regular match. This is this a regular match. They can go like eleven minutes or so. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, I'll make this my my storytelling match. I need a three v three hardcore match. And that'll be Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, Jey Uso, Shane Douglas, Percy Watson, and Titus O'Neil. It'll go 10 minutes, and the winner will be Titus O'Neil after pinning Roman Reigns. Actually, no, I'll have it be Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas pinning Roman Reigns. It'll be open and it'll be decisive. the The weapons will give them the edge. I'm not gonna have this be a straight up hardcore, but the weapons will give them the edge in this match. <sighs> Add new match: three v three hardcore PG. Is this better? Not thumbtacks. There should not be thumbtacks. No cell. Why is there a cell? What are you talking about, cell? It's insane. Just just give me weapons. Just give me weapons like a normal person. Yeah, very, very weird. Yeah, if these are both low, that's fine. One fall, regular, that's good. That should be fine, right? Shane Douglas does not have the stamina. Oh my god. <laughs> Six minute hardcore match, because Shane Douglas cannot go.
I am going to do Pimps versus Tommy Goon. And I want to I want to end this feud once and for all. Probably and have uh, pimps go over. Camacho the win over Tommy whoever. You know, it happens. Well, yeah, like 10 minutes. Douglas and his stamina, yeah. You got six minutes, guys. Get all the moves in quick, yeah. Yeah. Throw, throw six people in the win. It, it's the... Throw six people in the match, give them six minutes, and say, do a freaking hardcore match, have fun. So, this match is going to be Police Academy against the Neo Wyatts. And... I'm, I'm giving it to the Wyatts for now. For now. Um, by cheating because of Mr. Loomis. I remembered his name, I swear. You know, this can, this can go a little bit of time for the titles. So they're keeping their titles here. That'll go up there. And... Just thinking. Yeah, I'm going to do Chad Parham versus Chris Logan. And I'm going to have Chris Logan win by cheating. And uh, this can go 14. Poor Dexter. Dex, Dex, Dexter, Dexter's doing fine. I'm, I'm, I'm booking this man. He, he's, he's doing great. Dexter and Ginger against Lethal Weapon. And, uh, I'm gonna have Ginger get the win by cheating. More cheating, more cheating. Ten minutes. Okay, order this around. Uh, tag title, women's tag title, North American title, women's title. So I'll put this here. Tag. That, that, those are good. It's the top matches. This can go low. This can go high. Bloodline versus Franchise can go up here. Maxine Cash goes there. Rosebud's Tommy Goon goes here. Biggie Brad Attitude. Yeah, yeah, and then this opens the show. That's good. First time you actually forgot his name this stream. I've been doing good on Dexter Loomis, damn it. I've been doing good on him. This this save has really gave him an impression on my mind. Before this, he was nobody to me. And after this, he is very much somebody to me. And I could see booking him a lot in other stuff as well. Because I, I, you know, he he's he's become somebody to me. And I, and I like that. This this save has definitely forced a lot of people to enter my brains that otherwise would not. And I like that. I like that. Like, like, come on. Like, um, these guys, uh, Lethal Weapon, Dino Carter and Conrad Tanner, these guys are nobodies. They had so little matches in real life. Now they were tag team champs. They're one of my most experienced homegrown tag teams. I love their gimmick. They're managed by Sid. They have a, a a sister tag team. They're training. It's it's going great for them. It's going great. I want another police academy training skit where they're like ready. They're ready.
I don't think I have him on my roster. In 2012, I wouldn't think so. I would not think so. And uh, this will air right before that match. And then... Oh, right. I wanted to do something after this match. I was going to do... Hold on. I'm going to make Tamina lose. Yeah. And so, Sage Beckett screams at Tamina and kicks her ass for losing. Potrain saves her. So Jillian and Rachel are going to make the save. Despite how they've been treated, this will turn Tamina. Because Sage Beckett's going to be pissed. She's going to be like, how dare you? You know, you lost to those losers. Like, you're supposed to be my partner. We're supposed to be the greatest. What is wrong with you? Unemployed Dexter Loomis. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. This goes here. Let me think. Do I need any more? 18 is highest pop. Yeah, yeah. I've 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 built him up well. You know, I've built him up well. He came from nothing. Now he's something. Right, the Bloodline franchise match. That was short, but I want to do something at the end of that. So Mm-hmm. While Usos are down, franchise continue to beat down Roman. Basically kind of make him look like a chump. And the Usos are going to be kind of powerless to stop this because they just got beat up bad by the weapons in the match. Really put over the weapons as well as... Uh, the people. Roman and the Usos are just going to be selling. I guess I don't have to script that. That's fine. Definitely a success for you guys. And a failure for you guys. A defeat, I should say. And that will lead into something else after this as well. Um, Jenny... Cash song interrupted by Maxine attack before that match. Jenny Cash Entertainment Queen Maxine fighting. Quick little segment before that match. I'm gonna have Leo Kruger, Sweet Poppy Sanchez Camacho, Tommy Goon. Jillian and Rachel. Just in a quick, quick segment before that match. Quick comedy segment as I am one to do. They can do whatever they want in that. <laughs> Becky Brown Attitude. Exana and Brooke. This is Penelope Carwin and Naomi Knight. I'm going to have Exana and Brooke cut a quick promo. Get them over as heels. That's good. Tyler Bate had a 21 in ring. Yeah, that's kind of what I would expect. 
at at that popularity. Yeah. Okay, this is a good show. I like this show. I'm running this show. So, Dexter Loomis and Jinder Mahal defeat Lethal Weapon. Exana and Brooke cut a promo. Exana and Brooke defeat Penelope Carwin and Naomi Knight. Brad Attitude, oh, he sustained a broken toe. But he beat Biggie Langston in an ambulance match when Biggie Langston was trapped. Wait, I wanted Big E to win this. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad for not paying attention. I wanted Big E to win that match. That's funny. Actually, let me see what's up with your toe. How are you doing? Three days is being worked through. I think you'll be okay. Edge or AJ? Um, I'm gonna say AJ. He has precedent. He he's champ. He's uh he's been booked recently. I'm gonna give AJ AJ the win. Rosebuds defeat Tommy Goon. Jenny Cash song interrupted. Queen Maxine defeats Jenny Cash. They both put on 27s. They're both so much better. Franchise defeats the Bloodline. Shane Douglas put on a 29. He's also doing so much better. Roman Reigns a 30. Every, everyone's improving a lot. Drew and Mason Ryan with a 68 match. I feel like that's pretty good for Mason Ryan. <laughs> that segment happens. Chris Logan defeats Chad Parham. Okay, okay. Ho Train defeats Collateral Damage in a huge upset. Mason got a 57 in ring. Yeah, I mean, good for him. Good for him. You know. Feels feels good for him. <laughs> That's good. Tamina has turned. It was a success. Bo Dallas defeated Briley Pierce, Wes Briscoe, and Derek Bateman, defending his North American title. Police Academy end their training and then go on to their match, but they lose. Holy shit, 48! That was so good! Eric Rowan really needs to step it up, but uh, Wyatt's defend their titles. 48, very good. 45, very good. AJ Lee doing doing great work. And the main event, 52. Let's go. 52. 48 and 46, but, but the match got a 52. Very happy to see it. AJ versus Edge with the 91. Hell yeah, that's what they should be getting. You never know. In TW, but that's that's a great rating for them. Deserved. Eddie King's the lucky cannon praised for a great performance. AJ retains. Yep, yep. I know what's up. They're following the playbook. Um, you know. I'm gonna give give Big E some encouragement because he was supposed to win his match, and I forgot to set it so Big E wins. That's that's totally my bad. It's totally my bad. We're gonna say Brad Attitude got the best of him in that feud, and uh, you know that's the way it went. It's the way it's gonna have to go. Writing will change. Writing will change. I, I I had different plans for them. Those plans will definitely change now. I was a, that was a great show. That was a great show. And they agree the feedback was excellent. How's my popularity? I'm fifth in the world. 40 popularity. That's pretty good. I also want to check my top 100s. That was my second best show I've ever done. Wow. 
that's really good because, again, my older shows are definitely better because I had, like, Dana Bryan and stuff. You know, all those people who, who were called up super quick. The Chamber match got an 85. That feels very good for that. That's very good. Brian beat Otunga is still my best match. But Eddie Kingston Lucky Cannon is the new number four fourth best match. My best match since Lita, since, you know, Brian. That's pretty good. It even it even beat this match, the Ryan Brian. Lucky Cannon and Chad Parm defeated the Neo Wyatts is there. Ooh. Lucky Cannon Parham versus Mahal and Kingston. Neo Wyatt's defeated Police Academy at Unforgiven is number 18. That's very cool. Right under the uh, War Games match. Overall show in 88. Great job. Great job. My uh, second best attendance. That's great. That's great. My most viewers ever. Alright, that's going to be the stream for now. Again, I might stream something else later, but I gotta live my life a little. You know, it happens. As, as a very, very good show. I'm thinking next time King of the Ring. Don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking King of the Ring. It's time to shake things up. Mason's getting a speech. He deserves one for his performance. Hell yeah. Good job, Mason Ryan. You're getting better. You're getting better. All right. See ya. Good luck with your with your game.